Michael Jordan. He's considered the greatest player ever. Someone whose name is synonymous with basketball glory, with unrivaled greatness, and also with really, really expensive things. Receiving a wide sum of money throughout his lifetime endorsements and smart investing, Michael Jordan has earned more money since he retired from basketball than he did when he was dominating the league and is one of the wealthiest people around. He has surely spent his earnings in a variety of extravagant and interesting ways. So let's dive in and take a look at some of MJ's priciest items. It's time to talk money. Number one, a yacht. Apart from being a manic competitor, Jordan also enjoys spending time in nature. And that's why he got Mr. Terrible, an $80 million yacht he purchased in 2019. He clearly enjoys it. So much so that he's been seen partying on it and sailing through the coasts of Florida where he lives, while enjoying some of his famous cigars. But he doesn't want it simply to navigate the waters, of course. So he made sure the ship he got was equipped with all the necessary tools one may need. Also, a cumulus of other extravagant and luxurious features, such as a gym, a jacuzzi, and a fully customized bar. This thing is so big, it requires qualified people on board to navigate it at all times and costs $840,000 a week to maintain. But none of those things beat the best part the vessel has, and that is a basketball court. Because, as we will see, everything Michael Jordan owns has a basketball court in it. And this one sits on top of the ship, where Michael and his friends can shoot hoops while taking a look at the ocean. What a great sight to see! Number 2. A NASCAR Team Michael has been a fan of motorsport since his dad took him to see the races when he was young. And in September 2020, he fulfilled his dream of becoming the owner of a racing team a milestone that made him the first black majority owner in the sport in 50 years. Together with driver and friend Denny Hamlin, they created 2311, mixing the number Jordan wore during his time with the Chicago Bulls and Hamlin's longtime racing number. It has been reported that fielding a competitive car costs anywhere from 20 to $30 million a year, and he's planning on buying new headquarters that will cost him from 9 to $16 million more. Plus, the team's value now sits at $150 million. But also, this purchase has been intended to help Jordan pursue one of the most important projects he has embarked on, his fight against racism. Generally criticized during his time as a player because of his silence, Jordan has stepped up since then and has started to be more open about the issue. In addition to the recent commitment and donations I have made to combat systemic racism, I see this as a chance to educate a new audience and open more opportunities for black people in racing. Michael Jordan. Besides, to make things even better, the pair chose Bubba Wallace to be the team's inaugural season driver, the only black driver in the top racing division in the U.S. at the time, and someone who has also fought tirelessly against racism and injustice. The opportunity to own my own racing team in partnership with my friend Denny Hamlin and to have Bubba Wallace driving for us is very exciting for me. Historically, NASCAR has struggled with diversity and there have been few black owners. The timing seemed perfect as NASCAR is evolving and embracing social chains more and more. Michael Jordan Oh, the car will obviously bear the number 23 on the chassis. How could it not? Number 3. A Private Jet Michael Jordan does what every one of us would do if we were millionaires. We put our name on everything. And that's what he did with his magnificent private jet, a Gulfstream G4. He bought it in 2015 for $30 million and personalized it with his Jordan brand logo on the tail. He has also repainted it during the years with a pattern of colors that reminisce the uniforms he wore as a North Carolina player in college and some of his signature shoes. He also named it with a self-referring code N23 6MJ. That's number 23, his six NBA titles, and his famous initials. But the best feature of this beast is in its power unit, featuring two Rolls Royce engines. The jet ensures Michael will reach his destination at awesome speed and will also enjoy a silent and comfortable environment inside the plane. With those modifications worth almost $20 million, he has put a sum of about $50 million into his aircraft. Well, the guy's not called his airness for nothing, right? Number 4. His Magnificent House Collection Jordan is a busy man, and he needs to be comfortable while he travels, attending to his business matters and enjoying his leisure time. So, he got a house at each of his main locations, 
That is the case with his house in Florida, his main destination nowadays, where he is surrounded by exquisite luxury, along with a full-sized basketball court, a gym, 11 rooms, and a golf course where he can spend entire days swinging from the early morning hours until the sun goes down. Yes, he loves golf that much. The value of MJ's little palace? $20 million. That's what he paid for the land, the construction, and renovations. Another property he owns is perhaps his most famous. We're talking about his house in Chicago, branded with a giant 23 number on its gate. He paid a total of $25 million for it. The house features another personalized basketball court with a full gym, an aquarium installed inside the living room, a cigar room, and everything else you can think of. Oh, and yes, 19 bathrooms, because whatever. But the house is actually up for sale. MJ reportedly put it on the market for almost $10 million less than what he paid for it. Additionally, he has a much more modest house of Charlotte, worth $3.5 million, which sits right next to a golf course. That makes Jordan the owner of circa $48 million worth of houses. I hope he keeps them tidy, though. Number 5. A Private Golf Course Known as the Grove 23, Jordan's Golf Paradise is located in Hobie Sound, Florida. It opened in 2019 and stretches throughout 223 acres of land. It's got a driving range, a clubhouse, and many extravagant facilities worth $15 million. All that green surface requires $2 million a year to be maintained. But don't worry, he'll probably recover all of that money betting against other people on his own territory. Number 6. The Charlotte Hornets now worth $1.5 billion. MJ managed to become the majority owner of the team back in 2010, when he bought the entire franchise for $275 million. This was after spending four years as part of the team's ownership group. The purchase achieved his long-term dream of becoming the owner of his home state team. Sporting-wise, Jordan has turned the franchise slowly but surely into one of the most exciting teams to watch for the next few years in the NBA, building through the draft acquiring good players via trade, and emphasizing development. Charlotte basketball seems to be in good and wealthy hands and serves as a testament to the investing skills Jordan has. So, we have seen some of the most ridiculously expensive stuff that Michael Jordan owns. A plane named after your jersey number and the number of championships you won? Sure. A giant gate with a huge 23 on it leading up to a mansion? Of course. A personalized racing team? Why not? They don't call him the greatest ever for nothing. Michael Jordan has built his legacy as the greatest basketball player of all time and continues to involve himself in other business and sporting activities while enjoying life and some of the most costly items a person can have. What was your favorite item? What would you pick if you had the chance of buying one of those things? Do let us know.